Hello and welcome to another one of those videos where I talk about updates in the Steam version of Dwarf Fortress coming from Toady and Kit Fox. So we have a lot of screenshots here, so there's going to be a little bit to unpack. You're going to have to kind of give me a minute to work through all of these because there's a lot of them. Uh, this uh, was a little bit of a late one, so I'm actually recording this while streaming. Uh, anyway, let, let's just dive right into it. The first one here, we can see a trade depot. The graphics are placeholder, but you can see a wagon pulling up that is ready to trade. You can see some horses and various other people uh, standing on their wagon and as they're unloading. I'm looking forward to see what the actual trade depots look like. I actually think this placeholder looks kind of nice, frankly, but uh, looking forward to see what that looks like updated. The next shot we have here are a few dead uh, like rodent carcasses um, that are being strewn around by various cats. I, I quite like the way these look. They're decipherable enough. They look like vermin. They actually kind of remind me of the way the old vermin looked in Dwarf Fortress, which is just kind of like um, like just a little purple line, essentially, uh, in the ASCII tile set. And also, I, I really like the way the little sprouts and plants are kind of blending in with everything in the background. I think this whole this screenshot looks really nice. The next one we have here is uh, kind of like the information tooltip pop-up. So when you're looking at something, you'll get a little bit more information about it. Um, so it, I kind of like that. I, it reminds me of the way the current UI works just up on the upper right, where it just shows you what you're looking at. I think that these little pop-ups and tooltips are going to be very helpful, especially for players that are a little bit newer. So here they're kind of showing off a little bit more stockpile UX and how uh, isolating specific materials in stockpiles is going to look. I think that uh, the UI for this, once again, we've kind of seen the stockpile in the UI. I think it looks really nice and I am quite look quite excited to actually be able to manage stockpiles with them. Uh, they've got a little indoor stockpile here filled with uh, what looks like mechanisms, yes. Uh, and uh, then um, in the actual UI below, you can see the way the mechanisms look in this stockpile. I think they look quite nice. Now we're going to get a little bit of building interface uh, looks. So here we're going to kind of see what the actual building interface looks like. So, like, so from the bottom left pop-up menu, uh, we're going to have different options. You see currently the mouse is hovering over bridge, but they've got vertical bars, track stop, floor grates, stairs. I'm curious to know like what the actual layout for this is going to be and like how it's going to be sorted. Um, but uh, then down below, you can actually see an architect constructing a bridge. Um, once again, still not sold on the way bridges look. I really hope that these are going to get improved later on. I did a whole video talking about that in perspective stuff. There's a lot of other things that they mentioned that have been added, such as wheelbarrows, step ladders, but uh, they just don't, they haven't shown those to us yet. Uh, apparently they're still working on muscle shells, which is funny because those are going to be everywhere in some people's forts. And then lastly, in this update, we have a picture of scamps. It's good to see you scamps. Happy holidays to everybody at Bay 12 Games and anybody watching this video. Thank you very much to everybody who watches my little news updates videos. If you have any feedback on anything you'd like to talk about, uh, I'd love to see your opinions down in the comments. And uh, thank you to those of you who show up for these because, uh, well, it's nice to be able to spread a little bit more Dwarf Fortress out to everybody. And uh, the people who watch these videos seem to really appreciate them. So thank you very much to everybody for watching these videos, and I hope to see you in the next one. As always, if you'd like to support these videos, I do have a Patreon, and uh, assuming you're already supporting Bay12 on Patreon, which you should be. And uh, I stream Door Fortress way too often over on my Twitch cha channel, twitch.tv slash blindirl. Links in the description. Thank you very much for watching.